NASA laughed at him, called his idea insane, but without him, Neil Armstrong would have never set his foot on the moon. In 1960s, NASA had a dream, put a man on the moon, but no one could agree on how. Ideas clashed, egos flared, time was running out. And in the middle of it all, a quiet engineer named John Hobalt. He wasn't famous, he wasn't a director. Some say he was treated like a janitor with a chalkboard. But Hobalt had an idea, a radical, impossible, completely untested idea. What if we don't land the whole rocket? What if we just drop a tiny craft onto the moon and rendezvous back in orbit? NASA laughed, top engineers mocked him, but Hobalt refused to back down. He bypassed his superiors and sent detailed letters directly to NASA Associate Administrator Robert Siemens, one of the highest ranking officials. Siemens was intrigued. He pushed Hobalt's idea through internal debates, slowly lunar orbit rendezvous gained support. The turning point came when NASA's leadership, including Werner von Braun and the Apollo program managers, reluctantly accepted Hobalt's plan. Hobalt's method became the foundation of Apollo 11. The tiny lunar module, the Eagle, was designed to detach, land, then rendezvous with the command module orbiting the moon. And so, in July 1969, the world watched as Apollo 11 touched down. And John Hobalt? He watched from Earth, quiet and vindicated. He never set foot on the moon, but no one would have without him. For more interesting and mind-bending videos, like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, goodbye.